Yo, we back at it again. Great man, it got media TV back with another reaction video. Our let's keep popping out this material. Catch up videos. I believe this is the third one. My bad. I believe this is the third one. Uh, the third one. My bad, guys. <laughs> Drop my damn phone. The third one this week. Um, and I'm just catching up with the latest one that just got uploaded today. So, you know. I got to pick and choose my battles. I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyway, let's get it going. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's your host, Arlette, and we are here today with Kay and Mike. Welcome. Look at the fits. I love that. Look at the fit that Arlette got on. My dude got the navy blue with the Yankee fit, and she got this little flowery uh, miniskirt type of outfit. I love the fits. Everybody doing a good job. This is this is a great. This is a great. Uh, I ain't even got to say nothing about Arlette because y'all know Arlette gets down. I told y'all Arlette needs to start her own image consulting firm for her show for these ladies and for the men as well. Uh, but outfits are looking real dope. I like that. Welcome guys, how are we feeling? Good, thank feeling you for good. having us. Of course, Appreciate of course. It. So we had the both of you on episode 12 mm -hmm. of Pop the Balloon or Find Love, where you ended up matching. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perfect, so is it a yes for you for, him, for her? So yes. Okay, and is it a yes for you for him? So yes. Okay, oh. we got a match. <laughs> it's so funny, I didn't recognize her. <laughs> I recognize him. I recognize his face, but I didn't recognize her. I didn't know she was that tall either. Damn, she tall as hell. I know she got heels on, but still. I'm going to take this mic and you guys can go on off. <laughs> oh, everybody holding mm. hands. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we saw on the show, we got to know a little bit about you guys. You know, you told us little tidbits here and there, but let's know a little bit more. Uh, let's start with you, Mike. Okay, I'm uh, Mike, I'm 37 from North New Jersey. I'm a father a poet and an actor. And I've been in and out of Arizona for a few years and I live in Cali now. And okay. came to the show. I, I like what you guys had going on and felt like I needed to be a part of it. Sent the email and, you know, came on and I'm grateful for the opportunity, man. I'm grateful for, you know, the experience. So. Okay. So, I mean, like, I know you said you're a poet, actor. How did you get into that kind of stuff? So, yeah, I, I was always into like uh, writing Growing up in church, I used to memorize books of the Bible and want the longest verses and try to, you know, remember the words because, you know, words just always impressed me. So mm -hmm. I used to listen to the, the lyrics when the songs used to come in the cassette tape and okay. they didn't have the lyrics in the back of the CD book. So I would re you know, re listen to the tape, rewind, write the lyrics down. Mm -hmm. And then that's how I just got caught up in that. And then I started doing open mics back in 2012. Okay. And then just it, it kind of grew from there. Just, you know, just stay consistent with the work and yeah. started, you know, putting myself out there. So yeah, okay. I just, something I'm, I'm very passionate about. Nice, so. very cool. Most definitely. All right, and now, Kay, what about for yourself? Let us know a little bit. Okay, well, my name is Kay, and I'm an artist, a singer, a dancer, an entrepreneur. Um, I sell lip glosses and lip balms. Um, I'm also a television producer, mm. and mm. I'm a lover. I'm a lover girl. <laughs> lover girl. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Now, how... I yeah, she's cute as hell. I ain't gonna hold you. She's very attractive. She is very, very... I love. I love the look, the short blonde hair. The fit she got on, she tall. A one. She you, you sounds like you're like an entrepreneur. Like, how did you get into? I guess let's say the lip gloss business. Mm -hmm. Well, I've always been into like a bold lip mm -hmm. in like the beauty industry. Mm -hmm. um, so I was just figuring, like, you know what? Let me start selling my own lip glosses. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like you just like YouTube how to make it like how did you <laughs> YouTube how to make it okay. for sure and it was really easy and simple and I just I add my own oils I'm into oils and herbs and stuff uh -huh. so I use a lot of natural ingredients so yeah okay. mm -hmm. okay. I'm into making my own products too very okay. cool okay. Yeah. like what other what other products yeah body oils mm -hmm. hair products things like that okay. I yeah see you glistening okay girl. thank you mm. it is kind of hot in here but yeah thank you arizona <laughs> okay. for you so um obviously as mm. we saw on the show um with you guys how you even came to match originally mike you ended up popping your balloon yes tell mm -hmm. us about that 
So I initially popped because she mentioned, I asked her, you know, how she felt about men with kids. Mm -hmm. And then she said, you know, she prefers men that don't have kids. And mm -hmm. so I have two children. Yeah. Um, I didn't let her finish. So I kind of rushed it because, I mean, the, the previous contestant, you know, she popped immediately. And, you know, I, I didn't want her to settle. Mm -hmm. you know, I wanted her to get exactly what you want. You know, the, the it, dating yeah. market is pretty broad. You know, there's people out there that, you know, may have what you're looking for because I'm not the type to settle myself. Mm -hmm. But, you know, then she made an exception. So, you know. Okay. I see. Got my back, and <laughs> here we go. Okay. Yeah. And now, Kay, um, I know like you initially I said. Yeah, that may or may not be a good sign. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> and you're a little iffy about the kids thing. Mm -hmm. So have you dated someone in the past with kids that, that made you have that thought process or like what? Actually, never. I've never oh. dated any little kids. Okay. Yeah. So, so for you, it was something like, I haven't done it. Right. I'm doing it now. Exactly. Kind of I don't, I haven't done it. I don't know what it's like. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, I don't know. Yeah. But and, but then his kids are older too. So it's just like, that made a difference for me. For oh, sure. okay. So if they were younger, it still would have been a pop. Like, I, leave it a pop. <laughs> I think if they were younger, it would have been harder for me to accept. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see. So kind of to jump into, you know, my favorite part of the segment, mm -hmm. since you guys matched, mm -hmm. have you gone on a date? Absolutely. <laughs> oh. Every day, no, I'm just kidding. Oh my God, okay, yes. that's a good, that's yeah. a good sign. I love that. Yeah, literally. Well, we went out um, the first night okay. of the show. And we, the plan was to meet up with some other uh, other people from the show mm -hmm. and go to 11 11. So okay. we, we pulled up to the club and it was kind of crowded. I kind of wanted to get to know more. That wasn't the environment to mm -hmm. do that. Mm -hmm. And so Kay is cool enough to like, you know, go with the plan B. We kind of went with the flow. Um, and just ended up having a conversation in the car and making a plan mm -hmm. for the next day. Okay. We talked for a while. Um, and uh, we really just hit it off. Like it was just natural. I like, nice. real comfortable from the jump. And then, uh, Next day, I'll let you tell her about the okay, let us know. Yeah. Experience. <laughs> sure. Well, first of all, I want to say that, like, I came here intentionally, like, wanting to, like, if I did match with someone, I made the time for it. Good. Like, I intentionally yeah. made a later flight the next day to go back to home. Mm. So I just told him, you know, I'm free all day tomorrow. Just let me know what you want to do. Yes, so we had our plan. And it, yeah, energy. <laughs> he was like, I want to see you first thing in the morning. I'm like, okay, cool. We're both morning people. Mm -hmm. That's what's up. So I love that. We met that morning and we got smoothies mm -hmm. and he took me to the river what's the name of that river babe uh, tempe town lakes tempe town. oh she said babe she all right when you when you got motherfuckers giving you pet names you know it's official i love that i love she calling him babe okay i was like a little iffy about the beginning talking about making exceptions but damn she already giving you pet days. That's a really good sign. I love that, man. I love that. Oh, check that okay. out. Just something like, you know. Yeah, we're hanging out there, talking right. on the bench. Uh -huh. And then we went to get some food right. um, at Chopped. Yeah, Chopped. Yeah, I love that place. I got some you guys like healthy salads. stuff. Y'all yeah, talk about smoothies. Yeah. I know. She, I mean, she mentioned on the show. She yeah, <laughs> she's right, serious I, about eating well. Yeah, I see that. I see. <laughs> and I, like I said, I had just finished my um detox. I did like a thirty day fruit only detox. Oh, so oh wow. Okay. I was still on my health kick. Well, I'm still. I'm always on my health kick. So yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's what we did. Um, and then after that, he dropped me off to do my interview with Driva, who's mm -hmm. also on the show. Me and her are really cool. Nice. Yeah, we hung out there, and then. And he took me to the airport and then that was that for their, our first day it was beautiful, beautiful. Nice. okay and then after that first date you went back to la that is right mm -hmm. okay yeah, how was oh. that with the community i know i think we're right now, we're the same time right now right yeah, yeah. It's the same time yeah. Zone. yeah no time zone difference. So she had to fly back you know i took her to the airport mm -hmm. and we made a plan um i actually already had uh i'm an actor so mm. the, i was shooting in that area already. Mm -hmm. okay. I was planning on being in town a few days, so I actually flew to California. Mm -hmm. um, we met up, and we've kind of been inseparable since then. You know, to be honest, just in Cali, enjoying ourselves, vibing, you know, okay. hanging out. So you've been in Cali this whole time. Whole time, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Every day. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Let me not. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> so once you went out to Cali, that was how soon after. 
Literally, it was like, like a day or two. Like two, oh, three days, maybe. Yeah, he was serious. He was yeah. like, "I need to come see you." Like, oh my ASAP. god! I was like, oh, wow. "Okay, okay, come see me then." <laughs> Shit, I don't blame like, that motherfucker. Yes, that's how I knew he was serious. <laughs> nice. So, so to come out here, exactly. Right? I love that picture. I don't blame that motherfucker. She got one. He got one, man. <laughs> Kudos. So before, oh yeah, yeah you already know. I love that. that. Calling, texting, like how was it? Like calling, <laughs> texting, <laughs> all that. Yeah, yeah. texting, calling. Maybe, you know, 2024 is easier to come and like right, handle a long distance situation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but oh, I knew Kelly shit. was like, Kelly's right next door anyway. Is. But mm -hmm. I know, I know my plan was California, mm -hmm. and it, it just it worked out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love that. So, Mike, you went out to LA like pretty quickly, like within three days. Mm -hmm. Um, did you already have a spot out there, or how did that go about? Like, how was the living situation? Yeah, so I'm from Newark, New Jersey, but my my mom, she's actually from. Uh, Riverside, California. Mm. Okay. And living in Indio, California. So okay. I already have family in mm. California. My brother, he lives in LA. Mm. So, I mean, California is where people go in my industry to, you know, make moves and network okay. and stuff like that. Right. So, Kelly's been my stomping ground since about 2016. Got so, okay. her, her saying, uh, you know, LA was like, all right, that's not, that's like saying like home. right next door. Like, you know, so <laughs> okay. It wasn't a big decision. So, that's why it didn't take a lot of time. So. Nice. Mm. Okay. Now, since you've been in LA, like, what are some things you guys have gone into? What have you, how, what have you guys done? Oh, uh, we've been to the beach. That's okay. one of my favorite things to do. He knows I love going to the water. Mm. So, he took me to the beach. My first time going to Santa Monica Beach. Mm. Um, Santa Monica Pier. You already know what it is. That's the spot. I'm from LA. I'm just getting excited. I'm I'm from LA, so uh, and and every time I go back to my hometown, LA, yes, Santa Monica Pier, that's my spot. Malibu Beach, also my spot. So yeah, I love that's that. What we done. We work out together. Um, go yes. to the movies, mm -hmm. dinner, of course. Um, then some a little bit of traveling. Went to okay. Malibu. That oh. was fun. Mm. <laughs> um, we do everything together. Swimming, I don't know. <laughs> what else do we do? <laughs> what else do you guys get what into? I mean, she she also attended one of my shows that I've had, right. uh, yeah. Section okay. Fourteen. Okay. It's a play that we filmed in Palm Springs. It's okay. about uh, the survivors, of, like black and brown families who were forcibly removed from their mm. homes, mm. and we just kind of devised the piece to kind of express, you know, the the emotions and the seriousness of mm. you know some of the secrets of Palm Springs, you know, people mm -hmm. think, you know, luxury resorts mm -hmm. and stuff yeah, like yeah. that, but they have a, a dark past as well, dealing with racism and, wow. you know, and just justice and, you know, treating mm -hmm. people like, like human beings. Yeah. Stuff. So you said that was a play? That was a play that, that, that we, uh, we filmed at the, it was two weekends at the end of June. We had about six shows and mm -hmm. she was at every single show. So wow. wow. She was there supporting my there. man. She was a supporter wow. show. So that, <laughs> That's that showed up. me a lot, man. That meant a lot to me, you know, for her to, to come out and just, you know, be there for me. You know, yeah. I, I, I appreciate things like that. Nice. Aww. And well, he's talented, so it was nothing for me. I love seeing him on stage. Aww. And, you know, he, um, one good thing about the show is it was like his original poem, like his original work. Mm. So it made it even more special. And he opened up the show every night. Wow. So nice. I don't know. I love being there. <laughs> Y'all got footage? <laughs> That's amazing. And now, um, so. Now that you guys are a lot closer, you know, in the same state now, all of that stuff, like, how's the communication been going? All It sounds like you guys are doing really good. <laughs> the, the communication is uh, pretty much, we, we face to face, so we just communicate. Period. Like, we, we, like, I think coming on the show, uh -huh. we both had done the work prior to being on the show. Good. Like, I, I want to express this, like, how serious I took the show mm -hmm. as far as, like, being open to love mm -hmm. that's what the name of the show is right yeah. so i feel like i wouldn't come on there to play any games i mm -hmm. did the work on myself i met Kay. i felt like she did the work on herself as well mm -hmm. and then so us aligning things just kind of flow naturally you know yeah. um, everything that we do doesn't feel forced it doesn't feel like any pressure it's kind of just nice. organic like she's nice. such a dope individual and nice. i just, I just appreciate I love having her as a friend in general you know what i mean so nice Thank you, babe. <laughs> okay, so any final thoughts from, you know, Kay, let's start with you. What are some final thoughts, you know, anything from your experience for mm -hmm. meeting Mike, whatever it may be? Mm -hmm. Um, 
Well, first of all, I just want to say thank you and your lovely husband, Mr. BM, for bringing me onto the show. Yeah. Um, even before I like I applied for the show, I I said a quick prayer to myself because for some reason it felt right to do. So I was just finishing watching an episode. <laughs> Something was like apply, and I said a prayer. I applied, and then a few couple hours later, BM called me like, "Hey, you know, asking me questions, prepping me for the show, telling uh-huh. me like you were interested in having y'all." I was like, "Okay, guys, see what you're doing." <laughs> and, I, and I had already had plans to move to California. I'm from Texas, mm-hmm. Dallas, Texas. Okay. So it was like perfect. It's like I'm gonna get to California, and I'll go to Arizona, I'll do uh-huh. the show. Like, I don't know, it was amazing. It just worked out. Everything is working out how it's supposed to be. Yeah. And like you said, we did the work before we got on the show. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. The work to me um, means like getting to know myself better, mm-hmm. fasting, doing my detoxes, mm-hmm. lots of prayer, lots of journaling about the type of man I want, the type mm-hmm. of husband that I want. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I even shared those things with him. Like he saw the date that I wrote everything and mm-hmm. like he aligns with everything that I want. Yeah in a man and a husband uh-huh. so um it's just been a beautiful divine journey nice. and i'm just grateful for the show an I opportunity and my <laughs> thank you for coming on like you guys are just absolutely amazing okay and like what about for you mike any final thoughts first i'd like to start with um i have worked on a project um my, my cousin was killed in 2018 by law enforcement That's in north new jersey that. so I wrote a book um, dedicating that to him because it means a lot. Um, and I went through a lot. I went through a lot of uh, a, a dark, you know, I spent a lot of time in the dark, you know, just trying to put the pieces back together from that. So the book is a big dedication that to, uh, he was my best friend, literally. So yeah. mm-hmm. there was a void there that I feel like, you know, was missing. So mm-hmm. I just had to do the work. And um, I feel like God puts people in your life for a reason mm-hmm. when you need them the mm-hmm. most, right? So I prayed, I mean, I set, set the intentions and you know, um, on the show, I said that I know what the truth is, right? Mm-hmm. And the truth is that uh, God is love, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's about um, loving yourself first, loving the people that he puts into your life and the people around you. And, you know, when you know the truth, it, it, it you know that God is speaking to you. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. You, you have to kind of just follow his lead and not wait for certain things. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. you know, sometimes, you know, things from the outside may look like, you know, you're moving fast, but when when a man knows, he kind of knows, like, right. Right. you know, so I know for a fact that Kay was put into my life for a reason. Mm. I know. I that love that. There's nobody else like you. You are an amazing friend. Mm-hmm. You are genuine. You only can pretend to be somebody for so long. But the truth eventually comes out, and you have been consistent. You have been kind. You have been sweet. Um, I want to spend the rest of my life with you, you know? And I, I don't... <laughs> God damn. Hey, this nigga, this... Y'all niggas, you trying to make a grown man cry. This was so sentimental, man. I love seeing this shit. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Just fucking wow. I am amazed by this, man. This is... I am so amazed by this. I love seeing this. I He about to make me cry, bro. Like, this is incredible. I love this. I am just so happy for them. Oh, man. I love seeing that. And look at look at our let's face, bro. Like, this is some... This is the type of shit I'm talking about, bro. Black love. Ain't nothing more powerful than, than black love, especially the black nuclear family. Man. Ain't nobody can stop us, bro. The black nuclear family, ain't nobody can stop us. Nobody on the planet. I love seeing this shit right here. This is amazing. Amazing, bro. Oh, I love this shit right here. I don't here. feel like I'm rushing. I feel like it's natural. So, mm. I mean, honestly. Oh, my whoa, gosh. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> he oh. oh, shit. <laughs> bro, I love you I love deeply, you man. Too. Oh, man, my God. At our own pace. Oh Regardless God. of anybody else's opinion, you are a special woman. Oh my and when goodness! When a man knows, he knows, and I believe from the bottom of my heart that you are my person, my oh, best shit. friend, the person I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life with. God just have damn. a good time, man. We just enjoy this ride together, man. So will you do me the honor and be my wife? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying! <laughs> oh, 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 oh
my god! Oh. This is amazing! This is oh, amazing! I'm literally crying. Oh my god, this is amazing! Oh, oh goodness gracious! shit bro goodness gracious this is a real black love right here so, real black uh, I love i love it <laughs> that we did not expect that at all yes that nobody nowhere i was over there you know recording and um i'm, I'm like is this really happening like, i'm trying to adjust the cameras and everything <laughs> you know you just blew us all away everybody in the studio yeah. is absolutely speechless right now you know we are <laughs> out of words we cannot believe that this happened um, so I want to say congratulations to you both. Thank you. Congratulations Thank you. Appreciate to you both. So appreciate. <laughs> yes, and um, wow. I hope that you both listen to each other. I hope that you both work on things together. Yes. You know, put God first. And we really do wish the best for you. You know, best of luck with everything. Absolutely. Um, I'm sure, you know, Everybody wants to follow your journey. I mean, I want to follow your journey. So, yes. you know, make sure you invite us to the wedding. Hello, <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. Hello. <laughs> yes. Yeah, um, absolutely. But yeah, no, I, I, we are, yeah. This is what Pop the Balloon or Find Love with Valetta Molly is all about. Exactly. You know, real people coming to find real love. Yes. And, you know, moments like this, special moments like this is what it's about. So, yes. I appreciate both of you for really trying. We you know. appreciate you guys, man. Yeah, Get out the show you. and the opportunity to even meet somebody that could be from across, you know, different states. And, mm -hmm. You know, it's your perfect match. But having perfect. this as a oh, platform man. is it's just genuine, man. I appreciate you guys for real. Oh, you know? Wow. Yeah, and I do want to ask you, Mike, mm. what made you decide that she was the one? Mm. 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 So, so without just saying, oh, when you know, you know. Yeah. But it, it, it kind of is that because when you know, you just know. Like she checks all my box, my all my uh, she checks all my boxes, so to speak. Um, and she's just a great person, a great friend, um, just a great teammate, somebody I could just have a conversation with and feel like you know. I just I just know like this is someone I'm meant to. Believe. Yeah, look at the eye contact, bro. You can't you can't you can't buy that. Look at the eye contact she got for her man. You know, have your lady looking at you like that. If your lady don't adore you like that, bro, it ain't real. That's what you're talking about. Have your lady adore you, vice versa. This is this is the type of shit I'm talking about. This is the type of shit that Arlette and her husband talking about. This is the type of shit that is going to save the planet. Black love and the black nuclear family. Unbeatable. Unbeatable. Untouchable and undefeated. I love this shit, bro. Really spend a lot of time with, spend the rest of my life with, and we're supposed to just do our thing, man. So when you know, you know. You know, you know, absolutely. And I, I know that it seems like it's, it's very fast. Um, how do you know that you were sure about this decision? So this proposal, you're saying the culmination of work already done, right? Mm -hmm. I was doing work on myself to become the highest version of myself. Mm -hmm. And I felt when I met, Kay, she was also doing the same work. So when we met, um, it just seemed like perfect timing. Mm -hmm. So when we met, it seemed like perfect timing. And it's not about days on the calendar or, or time passing. It's about, you know, spiritual time spent, like mm -hmm. really convening with God and really trying to get in tune and really tap in and, you know, just following his pace and making sure you're aligned with that. And like I said, it doesn't feel like pressure. It doesn't feel rushed. It feels natural. Like I, I'm, I'm a deep thinker, so I, I do take my time with things, and I'm, I'm not just rushing in. I'm not an emotional person like that. So this is a, a decision I've made that I know for sure is, is something that I'm supposed to do. So 
Mm. Well, I mean, we are absolutely thrilled with that. And yeah, yeah, I am too. Like we said, we we wish you the best of luck. Thank you. And um, we pray that everything works out for you. Thank yeah? you. Congratulations. Yeah, we pray. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> yeah, I'll take this. Okay. <laughs> well. Y'all, that is our first Pop the Balloon or Find Love proposal. Okay. <laughs> ain't nobody topping that. <laughs> nah, ain't nobody going to top that. You already know what it is. <laughs> oh, man. Well, congratulations again, thank you guys. You. Thank you so I much for coming that. on today. And everyone at home, thank you so much for tuning in. And we'll catch you all next time. Bye. She's oh, man. Yeah, she's getting yes. married. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so beautiful. That is fucking beautiful, bro. Oh, this shit, this shit made me emotional. I ain't gonna hold you. Wow. Beautiful ring. Wow. Goodness gracious, this is amazing. This is amazing. I love this shit. Dude, this, this shit really got me in tears. I'm about to fucking cry. That, that's how beautiful, I love watching that shit. This was, ah, oh, I can't even describe put into words what I just saw. It felt like I was right there. <laughs> like, I felt like I was right there in the room watching them film this, this shit. That, that was amazing, bro. I love seeing that. And watching that, it was pulling so many emotional strings. It was like, he did the work. They both did the work. They, they got together and they aligned perfectly. And that's how he knew. That's what he said. And, you know, to talk about myself, you know, that's the type of shit that I am still working on. I am trying to be the better version of myself so I can align perfectly, right? Just working on myself. And so once you do that, you'll align, you'll align with somebody. And um, just like that, you'll, you'll know. You'll know. And he knew. The man knows. Just like he said, the man will know instantly once they find someone. And just the way, I love the way that she kept the eye contact. She kept looking at him. She adores this man. She absolutely adores this man. And when I saw, when I heard her, when I heard him describe the fact that, you know, he had his shows and she was there to support him every single time. Those are the things that matter to a man. Not, and not saying sex is not important because it is, but that stuff, just being supportive supersedes all the other bullshit that comes into the relationship. Just showing that support and showing that effort, offering suggestions, uh, being a great person to lean on as a friend, right? Just like he said, that's what you need in a relationship. And that's how a man ultimately knows the person he could spend the rest of your life with. Every relationship is different. Um, every person is different. So, you know, the, the way that you'll find your match or the, the find your person is, of course, is going to be different. But again, the instinctful man knows what he wants instantly. He knows what he wants. So, man, shout out to them. <laughs> Mike and Kay, bro, that was wonderful. I would love to see the follow up with their wedding. Um, it's going to this is amazing, bro. And this is what this show is about, you know. Arlette and her husband, they they created a movement. You know, they're not the first to do Pop the Balloon or Find Love, but they set the standard, right? Everybody's trying to copy what they do because they set the standard in the industry of this particular, these type of shows. And so when you are on this show, you are trying to, what you're supposed to do is genuinely find a real connection with someone, Right? This is it. They struck gold with this couple. They struck gold. I love it, man. I just, I'm amazed. I, I don't know what else to say. Um, this is amazing, you know, and um, I'm looking forward for the follow-up, you know. This is great. I love it. But yeah, man, those are my thoughts on that. That's my reaction. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, family. Till next time. <laughs> Man, signing out. Peace.